It has been a very busy week, but I just wanted to take a few minutes here to talk about the Los Angeles Dodgers. I don't even know where to start. Congratulations to the Washington Nationals who are making their first visit to the postseason ever. I, I believe since 1933. Way to go, guys. Congratulations. Congratulations to the Cincinnati Reds who took the uh, National League Central. And uh, good job, guys. Way to go. Now, the, the, the thing that's interesting about the Reds and the Nationals is that the Dodgers played them both times, each time, and each team clinched their division. And twice, the Dodgers had to sit there on the field or stand there in the dugout, sitting there in the dugout with their thumbs up their noses as the other team is celebrating. Now, you would think that would fire the guys up because at that time we were only a game behind St. Louis in the wild card. Well, we're not a game behind St. Louis in the wild card. We're something like three games behind St. Louis. And you know what? As a, as a matter of fact, Milwaukee, the Brewers, have now jumped over us. We roughly have about nine games in the season. We need a miracle in order for us to even make it into the postseason. And every day I look at the score, and every day I look at my, you know, my I get a text from ESPN, Dodgers lost, Dodgers lost. And it's usually the ever team has scored multiple runs, and the Dodgers have scored zero or one run. And sometimes we pull out a big game where we score more than four runs. Woohoo! But our pitchers, our pitchers are doing great. But then all of a sudden, you know, I know Bill, well, Billingsley is out, and Kershaw was hurt. You have all these people. These guys stepped up, stepped up, almost, almost stepped up to the plate. They got on the mound and started doing well. The problem is, is our guys aren't hitting. Ramirez, Gonzalez, Camp, Ethier, Victorino. I mean, it's a joke. I mean, Cruz is the only one that's doing anything right now, and it's just pathetic. And the bad thing, the whole thing about this, I, I, I don't, kind of don't want to talk about next season, but I kind of do want to talk about next season. Is this what we're going to have to look for? Are we going to have the same lineup next year? The same lineup? We need a catcher, okay? I, I must. The last 20 Dodger games that I saw, I don't think our catcher, I think it's Ellis, has thrown a runner out. We need a catcher. We should have hung on to Martin. Let me, let, okay, let me tell you something. Jason Worth, when we got rid of him in the mid-2000s, we needed him. We needed him. We got rid of him. He's been tearing it up in St. Louis and tearing it up in Washington. He could have been our left fielder all this time and tearing it up for us. Okay? Adrian Beltre. We could have kept him. I know it's a what if, what if. You know, we should have done this. We should have done that. We could have had Worth. We could have had Beltre. You know, we got rid of Russell Martin. Nah, Russell Martin's an asshole, so. But now we got to do something. It's, it's almost over, and I am ready to take this hat off and chuck it put my Packer hat on and start talking about the Packers, but I, there's still hope, okay? There's still hope, you know? You know, like Yogi Berra once said, it isn't over till it's over, but man, it looks like it's over. So come on, Dodgers. I mean, and, and not to mention, we are now 10 games out of first place. 10. 10. At the beginning of the season, when we were destroying everybody, up until the All-Star break, if somebody were to walk up to me and said, you know what, the Dodgers are going to be 10 games behind the Giants right as we close the end of the season, I would have said, you are a bonehead. Absolutely not. I was wrong. I would, I would have been wrong. Because the Dodgers haven't showed me diddly squat. And the bad thing about it is on paper, on the stinking paper, we should be going to the World Series. Sucks. Pathetic.